Mangirata, England. Mata singala tikat puluan. So I'm going to speak to you in English. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Welcome to uh, the youth of Colombo. I feel very, very old standing up here this morning. Um, are you students? Students? Stand up if you're a student. Stand up. Let me see you. Wow. You are very, very young. And anybody working? Anybody working? No? Right, so we have the future to look forward to. Welcome, sit down, youth of Colombo. Right, I'll see if I can get this to work. Uh, British Council. Ah, what do we do at the British Council? Has anybody studied at the British Council? Been to the British Council? Yes, who? Welcome back. Right, what do we do? Let's see if I can get this to start now. This is actually a... Sorry, technology, I can't do. Teaching English, I can. large part of what we do is our teaching centre. At our teaching centre we run English classes, general English classes. Um, I need to go to the next slide. Next slide. Ah. General English classes where you have lovely British Council teachers such as myself. Okay. That, I'm actually on the DVD Go. Okay. The 
the other classes for front of the week, you have two and a half hours, two and a half hour sessions. All right. Our teachers, our teachers are highly experienced professionals, all with a UK qualification, a UK language teaching qualification. Okay. We are all highly proficient speakers of English, and we all come from different countries and ethnic backgrounds. Um, we have a lot of Sri Lankan teachers, English teachers at the British Council as well. We have Polish English teachers, Hungarian English teachers, and a couple of French ones. We also have a Scottish teacher. I think her English is the worst. But, um, we create enjoyable and motivating lessons. We try to. We don't actually do much of this lecture-based chalk and talk teaching, okay? We actually try and get the classes up, moving, using the language. For example, do you all know each other? Do you all know each other? Do you know this table? Do you know them? Do you know them? Right, everybody up. Up. Up, up, up. What I want you to do is walk over to the other table, walk over to the other table, and introduce yourself. Hi, my name's Tracy. I work at the British Council. I love my job because I get to meet new people. I hate my job because I get to mark lots and lots of essays and exam papers. Go on, move. Go across to this table. You have to talk to them, not marry them. Come on. Ready? Go across. Come on. Move. Talk. Introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. Hi. 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 This means you 
successful when you start to communicate in English, okay? Start to communicate, start to learn and speak English, you become more confident. You become more confident out there in the business world, all right? In any world, international language of English. Um, again, what we want you to do when you leave the British Council is be able to continue your own learning, your own learning of English independently after you finish with us. It's not enough that you just come to us for 10 weeks and then leave and stop. You must learn how to help yourself. So what else do we do? We have young learners classes. We run young learners classes uh, for children aged 6 to 15. Those are run every afternoon during the week at the British Council and all day Saturday. Saturday at the British Council is like a zoo. <laughs> it is full of young people running around and full of British Council teachers going, don't run! Very, very vibrant, very, very good learners. Um, we also run a professional training center. Uh, we run workshops for companies, business, businesses, um, where we teach, uh, we run skills workshops for them. So presentation skills, um, what other skills do we do? Um, functional business English for their particular business. And the last thing, and some of you might be interested in this if you're still students, is uh, we run um, an office which gives advice and guidance on education in the UK. All right? So, Project English, and here I'm here today on Project English. Um, we also have what we call a Connect Strand, um, which impacts it's mostly curriculum development, writing material development, okay? Um, one of the things some of you, anybody wants to be a teacher? Any teachers? No? Oh, it's a terrible job. <laughs> Especially when your students don't listen to you. Um, online teacher training is one of the things that we've just started developing and we hope to do much more of it. It, it's basically a cheaper, more affordable option for people who want to become teachers. Um, and it's, it's a really exciting way because this new internet, which never works for me, but it does for some, is it growing and you guys will all be using it much more than I do when I was your age. Um, learn English. One of the things that Project English do is we have an internet website. Anybody gets on the internet? Internet users? Hands up. Internet users. Hey, Facebook, yes. Google, yes. Try this one. Learn English all, okay? There are sections for kids, parents, and professionals. When you start work, there are sections within this that you can actually log on to and it helps you with functional English around the language of your business that you're going into, okay? We also uh, have a program at the moment with TISLAT, uh, Learn English Through SMS. So I'm thinking SMS 3333 mm -hmm. and you get these little help yourself texts that help you test your English and help you learn English, okay? Um, radio, who listens to the radio? Radio, who listens to the radio? Wow. Wow, I'm so tired, I can't do The radio, we use the radio. Uh, again, it's uh, English uh, programs which I encourage you to become more proficient in your skill area. Um, it's free, fantastic, 
uh, it's structured, it's a program, and it's really, really good for your listening skills. And from your listening skills, your speaking will come off. Wow, believe you me. Okay, UK exams. Who's interested in sitting in the exams? IELTS? Anybody interested in sitting IELTS? My goodness. Oh, wow. I might need a trainer. Um, over 140,000 Sri Lankans have taken UK qualifications in the last five years. Our exam centre at the British Council is very, very big. Uh, so much so that we're actually looking at, at approximately 35,000 uh, more candidates sitting um, 73,000 exams in 2011-2012. That's big. That's a lot of exams. A lot of work. Um, and this one really exciting. International Legal English Certificate. This is a new one. And it's a very, very exciting program. Go. Have a, have a look. Have an ask about it at the exam centre at the British I have to move around the whole time. I can't stand in one place. And this is not going to work because it's not there either. So the next one. Right, IELTS. For those who are interested in IELTS, we run a very big IELTS program at the British Council and um, we offer uh, seminars, um, top tips. IELTS is very much about self study as well. Um, so we give you uh, free reference membership to the uh, access in the library, English language zone in the library. Um, we also have a listening test that we offer free of charge in the library for you, and a load of study material. IELTS is a tough, tough program, and it requires a lot of commitment and a lot of hard work, so good luck. Good luck, sir. Um, apart from IELTS and uh, Cambridge English Certificates, uh, Cambridge International um, we administer a lot of academic and professional examinations. So for some of you who want to be marketing managers, some of you who want to be accountants, we actually administer a lot of the examinations there as well. Ah, and most exciting of all, and I'm not going to waste time on this one, because not one of you wants to be a teacher. Um, teacher training. Teaching is an amazing, amazing it's so satisfying. If you decide to change your mind, become a teacher, we have two teaching programs we run. The TKT, which is for people of intermediate speaking level, um, and we run that over 10 weeks uh, with three hour workshops once every weekend. So you can do this TKT along with your job. CELTA is slightly tougher. CELTA is what we, it's an absolute necessity if you want to teach English as a foreign language, you must have a CELTA uh, qualification. And this is for people who are experienced teachers who want to improve, or people who are not teachers at all but want to get into the line of teaching. But you have to be a native or near native speaker. So, and there's Finally, oh, is this going to work? No. The library services. In the library, we have, oh, hang on. in the library, we have a range of books from music to tourism to history to literature, books, books, books. We have study packs to help you sell study packs. We have wonderful computer facilities, which means that for those of you who are stuck for something to do, you can go and sit on the internet for an hour there. Um, we have listening facilities, if you want to help yourself with listening and speaking. We have a lovely, lovely kids' library, okay? And lots and lots of professional books, as we call it. So we have books on business management, uh, marketing, all kinds of professional books, okay? And um, our library services, that's our, the, go and have a look, go and have a look. The library's quite an exciting place, full of lovely, lovely books, which I, 
So that's it. That's it from me, Youth of Colombo. I look forward to seeing you at the British Council. I look forward to meeting some of you. I look forward to seeing you at work, moving on, growing. And if I can help out in any way, 